Okay, so the role of non-government organisations as an avenue of redress. First up, we have choice. We've mentioned choice before. Choice is an independent non-government organisation. They publish Choice magazine. They test products. They provide independent advice. And they do provide incredibly detailed, unbiased advice. So, for example, they put out something called the Pet Insurance Buying Guide back in 2016, which had a lot of information that was really useful to people. Uh, pet insurance is yeah, slightly dodgy. Can you insurance with your pet? Yes, you can. So if they need like any um, veterinary services or stuff, it's kind of covered. Uh -huh. Okay, but to get all of their information, you actually do have to be a, a member if you want to look at their advice about specific companies. So I'm a member. Um, off the top of my head, I feel like it's maybe something as little as, oh, I can't remember if it was somewhere between $18 or $60 a year. I feel like it was closer to the $18 end. But um, we've bought, actually, we wanted to buy a new barbecue and we wanted to spend money and get a good one. And so we went through Choice. I just bought a new dishwasher recently and going through them and getting all the information about all the different brands, you know, really allowed us to make, you know, really smart, sensible decisions, particularly when you're spending like a couple of grand on something. It's well worth going through. I do have a clip attached and I will link that in your supplementary notes. And go to pause. Emails from you on everything from shanty strollers to treacherous trampolines. Our experts in the labs put your concerns to the test to discover the truth. Last year alone, we pushed laptops, mobile phones, and tablets to breaking point. We mowed over 20 kilometres of lawn, changed around 750 car tyres, pushed 48 grams more than 15,000 kilometres, and left oh, the light bulb for Sorry. thousands of hours on end. Damn it. All to find out what's best for you. And it's not just shoddy products. Our team of newshounds sniff around all kinds of consumer issues, uncovering what lies behind the spin in food labelling, banking, insurance and beauty products, even sparkling wine. Someone has to do it. When our journalists have tracked down the truth, we then get the message out to members and Australian consumers through our website, magazines and social media. When consumers get a raw deal, the Choice Media and Campaigns Army swings into action. They galvanise support among members and take to the streets, the airwaves and the web, spreading the word. We lobby government and shame major corporations to get a better deal for our members and consumers across Australia. For more than 50 years, Choice has been helping Australian consumers make informed decisions and choose safe products. At Choice, we do not accept advertising and pay for everything we test. We work for Australian consumers because Choice is funded by people like you. Okay, so they're not funded by government. They're not getting free samples of goods from companies for them to test so that, yeah, they do a thing called the Shonky Awards. Crap. So they have Shonky Awards every year, like the worst products that are out there, like things not to buy. It's like the, um, the Razzies. You know the Razzies? So you've got the Oscars for the best movies, best performances. The Razzies, worst movies, worst performances. Of, uh, shonky recognition shop. Okay, shonky. Okay, back to slideshow from current slide, and we did all of that. From that Yeah, Okay. I think you should I think I was just recording the whole time that I was just sitting here doing nothing. So, huh? Yay! Moving. On. <laughs> Choice also provides lots of quotes and stories to news organisations who love to use them because they are trusted and consumers like clicking on stories about how they're in danger of getting ripped off or their family getting hurt. Remember, we love bad news. We are terrible human beings. Um, some examples, Choice calls for cotton mattress firmness tests to be made mandatory or two thirds of new car buyers find fault within first five years. Choice, ABC News, news 2016. Plus, 
There was the whole super complaints thing that we looked at, I think, yesterday or the day before, that was trialled a few years ago, which wasn't successful because it just responded by restating the original problem because they didn't have the power to change the law. So there were two major complaints we looked at in the super complaints. I can't off the top of my head remember the first one, but I remember the second one was definitely the free range eggs super complaint. I should remember I did it yesterday. Are we doing notes there? No. Okay. Okay, another NGO is the National Association of Community Legal Centres. These are community legal centres that often deal with disadvantaged people dealing with credit and debt issues. We saw oh. something of that nature in the video that we looked at about the payday loans, the bunny rabbit clip you might remember from yesterday. Yes, um, nimble. Nimble it and That's move on. I wish I could move on. There we go. We also have the Consumers Federation of Australia. This is a peak body for consumer organisations in Australia. It includes places like Choice, the National Association of Community Legal Centres and Redfern Legal Centre. So they come together and work together. Are we filling anything in there? Yes, we are. Good. And there are also NGOs that target specific com consumer issues. So ACAN is the Australian Communications Consumer Action Network. They deal with consumer rights for people when they're dealing with phone and internet companies. They even have an app on how to make a complaint about service or high bills. All NGOs end up having the same problem though. Their effectiveness is limited by the fact that they cannot force or amend the law to help consumers. They can only provide advice for consumers, which is important. They can lobby governments to change the law, which can be pointless, especially if you're taking on a multi-billion dollar industry who more than likely make contributions to political campaigns. Or they can shame the business or businesses by publicly outing them as people doing the wrong thing. So for example, providing media articles to various news outlets. Good. Okay, and to finish off, just I have some more clips looking at choice. They are a really good example to use. They are, as stated before, one of the most trusted places to get information for consumers about a variety of products. So they'll be linked on the supplementary notes and see you next time. Go on, say bye. Bye.